18th. Good morning and thanks for joining us. I'm Caroline Hogan and I'm meteorologist Brittany Merlot. Happy Monday. I hope you had a fantastic Easter weekend and surprise winter's back. <laughs> I know I had a beautiful Easter. It was beautiful yes. outside and Perfect. kind of looking forward to that this week. But yeah, no, Brittany's wearing the <laughs> snow dress, as you can see. And you can get mad at me today. That's fine. I'll take all of your hatred because I actually like the snow and I still think it's pretty. OK, even if it's April. What is it, 18th, 19th, yeah, 18th? 18th. Gosh, you guys. All right, let's look at those Easter's pass. We've had a wide range of temperatures. Yesterday, we hit a high of 43 degrees. The sun was out. It wasn't too bad at all. Last year, we hit 66. We were all hoping for 2019 when we hit 74 degrees. But just before that, we had a high of just 32. So we were better than that. And now we're waking up this morning to, of course, that snowfall ongoing throughout the Fox Valley and Lakeshore. You can see it all across Lake Michigan right now on both sides. And then another little swath starting to build off into western Wisconsin that yes is headed our way here later on this morning. So right now visibility down to about a mile. That's the biggest concern with this snowfall. It's a heavy wet snowfall. We don't have a lot of winds, but it is making it a little bit difficult to see. Plus, there are some slippery stretches out there as well. So please be careful, especially out on those county roads as our temperatures drop to that freezing mark right now. 32 degrees here into Green Bay below freezing. It's Appleton at 30 and the upper 20s into the Northwoods this morning. So as we go through our afternoon, we're not going to get too warm. Unfortunately, staying cooler than yesterday with a high into those upper 30s. Snow winding down by this afternoon and then switching over to some light drizzle for us. So we are going to see those winds start to get a little breezy later on, but mainly through the overnight hours, you're going to hear them cranking out of the north as the system swings across us. So I'll be tracking the rest of this for you, letting you know when we're going to start to see that drizzle push into the forecast.